shake your booties for black girl nerds. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm happy to talk about soul with the three of you. Um, beginning with you, Kemp, this film explores a lot about self-discovery and finding that thing that makes you yourself. With participating in this project, has that kind of changed your own ideas about your own self-discovery and journey and finding who you are at this point in your life? To a certain extent, yes. And that, I mean, look, as an artist, we always question the validity, like if our voices, if our ideas have merit. And I think the, the experience of making this film, being a part of making this film, it's particularly how positive it is and the end result has encouraged me that like going forward in my own career, this needs to be the rule, not the exception. Mm -hmm. You know, chasing after stories that really speak to me on a personal visceral level. And it's worth waiting for those stories to manifest themselves or waiting to come up with those ideas. It's not about, you, you know, the expression, it's not about, um, quantity it's quality we all say that but then quantity comes in then we got a mortgage to pay and it becomes about quantity and mm -hmm. I, I think this process the, the the gratification that i'm experiencing this year with this and another film that i also wrote is just beyond anything that i could have ever imagined and i want to keep that going because we all question doing this thing how long we're going to be able to do it and if i have more experiences like this then i could see myself continuing to be a filmmaker and do these things until I get old and die, which is <laughs> usually when you end up the experience of making any project, you kind of say, okay, should I go open that cafe now? Should I leave the country? And this was like, okay, what's next? Like I, I felt a lot more energized when I usually do. I love that. You know, I'm very, I'm a very glass half full type of person as well. Dana, for you, one of the messages that was particularly interesting to me was, um, Joe's relationship with his mother. And sometimes it is that practicality versus passion conflict that we have as creators and artistic people. Speak to your own experience with that as a creative person. Was that, did you have a similar journey or did you have that reinforcement in your corner when you set out to do this type of, type of work? Yeah, I think that scene definitely is more personal from personal experience that Kemp had with his mother. I think um, my parents always just kind of had my, they were just like, always like, whatever you want to do. Um, I was the third, I was the third child. So I think they kind of were like done parenting. <laughs> um, no, but they were always just very supportive, but I, I'm a mother myself. And that, that scene is, is super emotional for me. Cause I, I see my future, you know, you want them to be, have stable, careers and lives but yeah you want them to be doing something that they love so it's like how do you find that balance absolutely and pete you know there's always again with the whole passion practicality thing for you like joe he has his moment and other things happen that take us on our journey to the end when when did you know you could fulfill yourself and sustain yourself doing artistic things I was lucky enough to find uh, animation pretty early on. I did like a flip book when I was eight years old and, and was amazed by movement and, you know, was one of these kind of weird freak kids who just like pursued that, would call strangers and talk to them about how do I do this and so on. So I was very fortunate in that way. Uh, if anything, I have to kind of keep reminding myself, look, it's not all about animation. It's not all about animation. I've got to pay attention to the kids and the family and the world around me. And I think that's one of the, uh, the central messages in the film is that there is great joy everywhere uh, if you choose to look. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, enjoyed the project and have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you. You too. Me Thank too. you. Bye-bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.